these seasonings at home a lot. Um, I think over the, I've got a I've got a chili chili seasoning and a taco, which is a bonus, and then I've got um, an Italian blend, and I have a seasoning salt over here. Um, this afternoon, I went downstairs to look for chili powder, and I wanted chili powder. I didn't want chili blend. I didn't want chili blend. I wanted I wanted ground up chilies which you can get, um, but not in this store. You'd have to go to Penzi's, or you might be able to get them someplace else. Don't have them back there in the these, these, uh, this is not, I was looking for, I was looking for chili powder, yeah. but pure chili, yeah, not, not the, not that has already the spices and stuff yeah, in it. Know, well, no, I am, um, these, these are California chilies, and I got these in the, on all four. And um, I'll show you quickly how I made this, which is the chili, this is chili powder. And I made that out of these California chilies. And this is a super mild chili, it says so, on the package. But the thing about these are, um, again, um, you can get chili powder at Penzi's, you know, online. Penzi's, but it says chili powder. But it's really simple to make your own chili powder. Now I'm quickly going to put this together and just let you see it. It's no big deal. So what you do is you put a pan on at a kind of high heat. And what? You do, but as they are, they're just, they're kind of soft. So what you have to do is you have to toast them just a little bit so they're crunchier and so they make a powder that you can pulverize. I use them for uh -huh. uh, I, uh, them in water, I the, them off of the skin. Right, right. I don't use the skin. No, you don't use the skin? No. Is that better for you? I mean that's just what you do. Oh. Yeah, so it's pretty it's pretty pretty simple to do this. Um, I've heard of that as well. Were they are they dried chilies that you do that with? Mm -hmm. You you rehydrate them a little bit. Yeah, so you get the seeds out of these things and you put them in the skillet and you just want to toast them just for a little bit to get them to get them dried out a little more and toasty. Now, these are mild. These are mild chilies. So these aren't these have no scoville to speak of that are that are um, you don't rub your eyes. So you just keep going with this, and um, you can talk. You can you know look this up online and stuff. But that you makes can. A powder, or do you have to add stuff? I'm sorry. That makes a powder. This makes a powder once you grind it up in the in the spice mill, or um, I've got this cheap thing behind me that makes the powder. Once it's. Um, uh huh. It's a it's this little tiny food processor behind me, but this this is only one component of the chili powder. Everything else here is the, the rest of the chili blend. Um, and the cool thing about this is if you have your own, you have your own peppers, your own herbs, and stuff. You can make your own, your whole your. You can toast a bunch of this blend. You can put cumin in here. Toast the cumin. Um, here is dried. Uh, you can put different peppers in here. You can put different chilies in here, rather. And it makes a different flavor powder. So there's all sorts of really, really nice things you can do um, to chilies. And uh, I don't know how many people actually buy these things and know how to use them. Yeah, so 
that's kind of fun. Yes, I do seeded it. This is here's the seeds. Yes, you can have it all together and have it ready for uh, how to make tamales on that day. That's right. Right. You make them by yourself, the cardboard. I did that last year. I want a friend next time. They're talking about how to make tamales. Yeah. Mary's from Texas, so she knows how to do these things. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is now that this is going, now I'm going to this is just going to toast up a little bit. You'll see you'll see little smoke whiffs of smoke come up. Um, but once these are dried out and toasted a little bit more, then you put it through a food a, a food mill or a coffee grinder or um, just a small a small blender like I've got back here right um, now I have a separate you want a separate one um, I have three coffee grinders actually one for one for herbs and spices one for flavored coffees and one for regular coffees What? A chili coffee. A chili coffee, yes. A chili chocolate. Yum, yum. Okay, I'm going to start the oven at, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the oven now for the, um, for the first recipe, which is the Italian chicken packets. Um, and these are my husband's absolute favorite things to make. He showed my daughter how to make it, and he just... I, once I showed him how to make these things, he's just fallen in love with them, and he um, he makes them up. And he makes up the packets. He'll do a fast freeze on the packets. You know, put them in the put the packets in the uh, put the packets in a big. Uh, he'll fast freeze them just like this on a cookie sheet in the freezer, and then um, in about an hour he'll pack them into a big Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer, and then when he wants it for supper, he'll just pull a couple out in the morning and let them thaw out. He loves these things, <laughs> absolutely adores them. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer. I never know how many people are coming to these things. Did you guys call? Yes. You called? Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah. The people went crazy. The parking lot is full. There's no more Mountain Dews on the shelf, right? That's what happens? I'm not joking. Uh, <laughs> They don't just use, to make the snow cream, you're saying they use like, um, they get, they get this, they get this stuff and make snow cream. Uh, I think we just used uh, evaporated milk and sugar. Loved it. Okay, so this is, it's funny because when I was toasting these earlier today, I'd have people coming in saying, is something burning? <laughs> so no, it's chilies. Oh. Okay. So this is the Italian seasoning here, and um, so I'm just gonna just, I'm just gonna pick them up. It's a tablespoon of all this stuff. So it's oregano. It's this nicely powdered sage. It's thyme. It's parsley. It's basil. It's marjoram, one of my favorite herbs. I love marjoram, and then it's rosemary. Another favorite herb. And that's just from a spice container? Yep. Just. Mm -hmm. 
The only two you what? What do you mean you don't like you what you don't like you don't like what you don't like sage you don't like. That's because you're not Italian. I reckon. If you're Italian, go up. Oh, bueno. Well, bene. 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 So this gets all nicely mixed up. And there's the, the, first, um, the first herb blend for today. And that is going into these chicken packets. And the chicken packets, um, what you do with those is you get your knife. You my knife? I've lost my knife. There it is. Okay. And sometimes we do this and sometimes we don't do this. Sometimes we don't do this draining off process that's, that you read there with the zucchini. Um, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we just slap it in a bowl, put, this, put the seasonings on it and call it good. We don't do the draining off of it. You know how, um, how wet, how much moisture zucchini has in it. Um, it just makes the packets more juicy. That's all it is. It's no big deal. If you don't want to do the, uh, the, the uh, salting and the draining of the zucchini, you don't have to. And I'm not going to do that now. Okay, put the oven on 450. That's right. Give these a shake. Again, these are just the dried chilies, the California chilies. And if you if you want to add some different flavor to what, what's a fun chili, Mary, that you would put into a into a chili blend like this. What kind of dried chili would you use? Well, my dad used to have this plant that had uh, what is called a chili piquin, which is, which is a tiny little brown uh, hot pepper. Grows in a big bush like that. It turns red and then that's what it's called. Really? What's it called again? Chili piquin. Piquin? Pekin, P-I-Q-U-I-N-E. Mmm, teeny little, and that, and you use that in the in chili powder. They call them baby peppers. Babies eat them. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! When I was little, my dad made and we didn't make any. We sowed red pepper when we had them. Oh yeah. The cayennes. Yeah, the cayennes. Okay, the whisk, this is starting to wisp up now, so I'm going to call this good. I'm going to take this off the heat. And move it. Okay, so I've put the um, zucchini in a bowl, and I'm going to cut some cherry tomatoes as well and put those in another bowl. Of course it's so much better with fresh tomatoes in the summer, fresh cherry tomatoes. You can also use sun-dried tomatoes in the winter if you like. I like the sweetness of sun-dried tomatoes, but I like the juiciness of these right now. So I'll slice those up and what I'm going to do now is take a, this is off, take a little of this spice, Italian seasoning that I made. And put, put this in a bowl, let's move this over. Um, put this in the bowl with olive oil. Do you toast your, uh, your cumin? Do I toast my cumin? Not in this. Not in this. You already use a powder. I use a powder. Um, 
if I'm making uh, chili or if I'm making something Mexican at all, I'll toast, I'll toast that cumin, the cumin seeds. Mm -hmm. um, this is a powder, so um, I know, it's just amazing. So into this goes garlic, and I'm using, again, I use this cheater garlic because I do, um, I like it. I don't mind it at all. Um, and I had a little red pepper goes in this as well. And I'll whisk that up. And this is also an awesome um, addition, an awesome topper to bread, um, toasted, or focaccia. Add a little more oil. Really, really good. All right, and I'm going to add a little to the tomatoes. Now, there's, I have a lot of tomatoes. You saw the packets I made. Then the rest of it into this, to the, into the zucchini. And I'll give that a toss. Give that a toss. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, let's get this chicken breast out. And typically what I do, what I did to the other ones that are that have already been prepared, is that I'll put these chicken breasts in the freezer for about 10 minutes so they firm up a bit. So they're easier to, to make cutlets out of. So I just slice this, make a cutlet out of it, slicing it um, in two this way. And if you have any like high spots on the chicken, um, you can beat it down a little bit or it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to cut these just because everything else is cut tonight. But you wouldn't do this at home. <laughs> I just did it. Um, because of the crowd. The, um, I wanted everyone to be able to get a taste. So you put some salt and pepper on this. I put plastic down because this is a wooden board. That's all. If it was our plastic board, I wouldn't bother because I could put that through the dishwasher. Um, so into our packets now. Um, as you see on these first few packets, can you see this? I don't know how much you can see overhead, but um, pepper. I ground pepper. So, and so then you just put the um, chicken on top of zucchini. On top of this is. Uh, Frank made me promise to tell you guys that we use heavy duty aluminum foil on this recipe, not just regular old aluminum that you cover the cat food can with. This is heavy duty aluminum foil. And it's, beca it's mostly because you're, lots of times you wind up having to do a little crimping that you weren't expecting to do to close the packet. And if it wasn't heavy duty aluminum foil, you could tear the packet. That's all. And because a lot of times we, um, we don't do the drying out of the zucchini, um, our packets at home become very juicy. And um, a lot of the a lot of the juice will leak out into the onto the pan. You gonna get one more? I'm sorry. I don't. 
I usually do, actually. I do use a dull slide. Thank you, Mary, but I didn't this time for those. But I did on the other ones. I don't know either. Hush. <laughs> You're supposed to use the dull slide. I don't think we'll die. I hope we don't anyway. I know, I haven't killed anybody yet. Not that I've tried. Okay. Ah. And just put the rest of these little tomatoes on. I don't have that many. Okay, put this one over there. Oh, this is awesome for a party. Actually, I think I'll, um, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to use these. You guys are going to get these tonight and not these. Any additional dressing that you have, just go ahead and scrape it onto the packets. The original recipe for this comes from America's Test Kitchen, Cook's Illustrated. Um, the, the cookbook this comes from originally is, an, is a family favorites, lighter family, lighter, healthier family favorites. Yes, it's a very good idea for a single person. Oh, aren't we all on a diet of some sort, Mary? You went and grabbed a cookie. No, you got us. Diet soda. Yes. You're a diet soda. A half. And the funny thing about that is, is that she announces it on Facebook really loudly. <laughs> Where everybody can read about it. They, and they like you anyway, no matter what. They have to, they don't have a choice. Okay, so I'm getting these packets nice and wrapped up. And these will go into uh, the fast freeze for a couple minutes, flat. See, as you, if you fast freeze these things flat, then you can kind of pile them into the Ziploc bag and they won't get all mushy and weird. They won't get all uh, on one side of the packet. So you fast freeze these just like you fast freeze berries before you put them in the freezer. So they're individual when you freeze them. And mind you, normally, now this is a this is a senior citizens portion, or a tasters portion. It's not like a, yeah, it's not like a full, you know, like a, you know, it's a it's for people with lighter appetites. This portion. Sure, yes, nibbles. This could this is a wonderful like appetizer pack. Um, exactly. What? Oh, uh, well, uh, we do slice them, we do do the cutlets, so he'll eat too easy uh, with rice, you know, and pecan pie. But again, we're not construction workers, you know, but this, again, this isn't a high calorie meal. You know, there's a lot of nice nutrition in here uh, with not a lot of calories. But you do need some calories, a lot more. So that's when we're going to move on to the next recipe. Now that I've got these. To flash freeze, um, these chicken packets usually take about 10 minutes. You know, you can keep them in. You can keep them in as long as you want to. And then kind of scrape them off the pan and put them in a Ziploc bag. Because they will ultimately go into the 
freezer. Um, that's another reason why you're using a heavy duty aluminum foil so you don't get freezer burn, right? Okay. This one is ugly, so this one's really going into the freezer. These are prettier. Um, okay, so these we'll just keep out. And that is the first seasoning blend. Okay. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. Italian seasoning. Okay. Now, the next one is the chili um, powder with the bonus taco seasoning. I gave you taco seasoning as well. Uh, these, the chilies here, um, I'll get this thing out, show you. So this is just a, I don't know, for dressing. I don't know what the, this is for really. Because it doesn't, it really kind of leaks around the edges if you're trying to do a spice grind. So you wouldn't want to do, you want to use whatever you can that will get a nice grind to it. Because this one isn't all that good, but I had it on hand, so I had to use it. But see, now these are nice and crunchy. Where before they were kind of pliable, now they're nice and crunchy. So they'll be able to pulverize fairly quickly. Not now. They've been off the heat. The pan is still a little warm. Ma'am? No, I had it on six. Six to seven. I had it on pretty high. I didn't tell you that. I'm sorry. So I scraped the I scraped the chili into this little food processor. And it becomes like this. It comes like this, um, which is it's still got some skin. It's still got some skin to it, but that's okay. That's okay. It is a dried chili. And I think I've said um, I think I said in the packet that uh, you want to use dried herbs and spices. Um, in the cooking phase of your food, and you want to use fresh herbs and spices at the final stage of your food. Um, so you don't really want to cook fresh herbs because they're so good in their natural raw state. But with the dried herbs and spices in hot oil and skillet, um, it blooms them, so they're really quite nice. Move these over. Okay. Um, the chili. <laughs> okay. This chili, um, this seasoning blend, has a bunch of uh, onion powder, garlic powder, thyme. Now, here's a change. Now, this is, you guys don't know me at all. You guys know me really well. Um, almost all the time, I'll change the recipe here. So you guys never get the final recipe, really, okay? So, except when you get here, because I've been tinkering. And so, in this chili recipe, I've used both regular um, sweet paprika that you can just get downstairs, and I've used a smoked paprika, because uh, I like a little smoky chili. So, it's so good. All right, so I've used a tablespoon of the smoked paprika and a tablespoon of the regular paprika. Did you buy the smoked in the jar or you do 
Yeah. 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 No, I do have a smoker at home, but I just use the uh, Spice Hunter smoked paprika. I've tried to make my own chipotle before with uh, smoking um, a uh, jalapeno. Um, and it, it actually turned out pretty good, kind of mushy, but it's not so bad, not, not bad. So I'm going to put all these in the bowl. This is a cumin, big cumin. Uh, this is oregano. Here's the chili. And then we've got thyme, garlic. No, this is onion. Garlic. This makes quite a bit. Um, but you know, when you use chili powder, you you use like a bunch of chili powder at once. You don't. It's nothing subtle about chili powder. But as you see, there's no salt in it. There's no sugar. Um, this is just spice and herb. So you can keep this in a nice little Ziploc bag or a, or a jar. I have these jars here tonight, these little, um, these little ball jars. They're just really cute. What? It does not need to be refrigerated. What? Oh, no, uh-uh. It does not. No, the original herbs and spices weren't refrigerated because they were dried. So this one doesn't need to be either. It smells quite nice, actually. And so, yeah, you can, this, you, so it makes a lot. I mean, this is like three something for a jar of this. And whenever I make chili, I'm using like three tablespoons of this stuff, usually at least. Um, so whenever you're actually making your own chili powder, it's cheaper. And again, you're, you're controlling all the stuff yourself. So if you don't like all the onion or if you don't like all the cumin or whatever, you can make those changes. You can make those adjustments yourself. So that's quite nice. And I'll leave that to its own. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is, what's our time look like, Jared? You know? Let's see, what time is it? It is 7.09, okay. I've got this, this is the, the, the chili, um, the chili with uh, the corn with chili and lime I got downstairs. Um, we have these great little corn cobs downstairs in the frozen, frozen food department. And um, I'm going to roast them and then put butter and chili and lime on them. Should be quite nice. No. Maybe they're probably blanched. They usually blanch everything before they. A little bit, anyway. Oh, honey bunny. Did I mention I'm on a diet? She says. Oh, well, like I said, you know, we don't have that many calories in the chicken, so I wanted to give us a little bit of sugar starch. 
and we're not having dessert. So. And, and I kind of have a little bit of carbs. Everything has carbs. Everything has carbs, fats, and proteins. No, not high. It doesn't have it doesn't have any sugar carbs. That packet has no sugar carbs, except for the tomatoes a little bit, because tomato is a fruit. So it has a little bit of sugar in it. But yes, as you should be, you should be limited on your carbs. I know how you eat. I've seen you downstairs. Aww. I'm going to put it down a couple of ears on here. Okay. The taco, the taco seasoning is kind of self-explanatory. I'm going to put another couple of ears on here. And um, I love this taco seasoning. And I use it a lot in salad dressings, actually. Um, taco seasoning makes a great salad dressing. Um, along with... Uh, lime and cilantro. So here it's for the taco seasoning, it's the chili blend. It's a quarter cup of the chili blend. Ha ha. I can just dip right in and get that quarter cup. It's a quarter cup of the chili blend. And then it's another round of cumin, garlic, onion. Uh, this is paprika, the sweet paprika, and then oregano. And salt, I believe. Quarter cup of salt, which is a heck of a lot of salt. You don't have to use that much if you don't want to. Um, again, it's your own. You can make it how you like. You can add this to, to black beans. It's really good. You can make great black beans. Black bean seasoning. Awesome in cornbread, chili cornbread, um, with salsa. You know, add a little salsa in with the liquid as well for cornbread, and then add this. Mmm, -hmm. mm, this smells really good, gang. Yeah, how would you mix that to make dressing? Um, just a vinaigrette. I mean, I'm going to make one here in a second with the season. So you're just making a vinaigrette, but you're making like a Mexican vinaigrette, and you use. Um, a little lime juice instead of a lot of vinegar. And then really good olive oil and this stuff and maybe some cilantro as well. Um, wait till the oven's heating up and then we'll just start the corn. The corn is just going to go in the broiler for a little bit and I'm going to um, put some butter and lime together and put it in the microwave and melt it and then drizzle it on the on the broiled corn. This is the seasoned salt. The seasoned salt has parsley. It has a good bit of red chili flakes in it. It's got paprika again. Excuse me. That's the 715. It's got garlic. It's got pepper as much as you want. And it's got um, some onion, onion powder, as much as you want. You mix that up. I did. I used a sweet paprika. I'm gonna go ahead and put this chicken in. This has got to cook for a bit. There, here. And I'll go ahead and put the put these in as well. Mm. You might be just eating salad for a little bit here. So this is a wonderful seasoning salt, but there's no salt in it yet. This is just a bunch of seasoning. I didn't use all of the onion. But you can if you want. I almost always use um, grated onion in my salad dressings. So the powdered onion is really nice because I'm not 
crying. And that's always good. All right. This is my dressing for my salad. Dang, this hour goes by fast, doesn't it? Flies by. Um, I've already washed my lettuces. They're in the back there. Um, so now I'm going to make the dressing right in the bowl. I'm going to get the bowl. Okay. Okay. So I've got the lemon juice. Now this, again, this is Volcano uh, Lemon Burst. It's not from concentrate, it's organic. You get that down in the natural food section close to the front of the store. They have it in lemon and in lime. So it doesn't have a, it's, I could squeeze, but I, I'm not gonna. Uh, I could squeeze a lot, but I'm not gonna, not tonight. No, honey, thank you. It's not hot anymore. I appreciate that. Thank you for looking after me. Um, so there's the lemon juice. I better put more in. This calls for a third of a cup. That's not even barely a. Get that. It's more like a third of a cup. Okay, and some honey. Just a little honey, not a lot. Celery seed, little. I want to get. I want to kind of mix this up a little bit. I'm setting my timer. These are small chicken pieces, so they probably won't cook. It probably didn't take that long to cook them. You guys aren't really hungry anyway, are you? Good olive oil. Good olive oil. Real olive oil. Did you guys see the 60 minute, 60 minute expose on last night about olive oil? What? Uh, people, we I've known this for a while because I used to work in the industry in the olive oil and vinegar business. And a lot of the olive oils um, that you get in the grocery stores aren't what they say they are. It's a huge business, and. Um, People, people don't realize what goes on underneath. You can imagine now that I've told you, now you know, right? It's just a huge business. Olive oil is like a big deal. It's like what? It's like tilapia. Like tilapia? Yeah. Oh, what is it? What is it? If it's not. It depends on the olive oil. It depends on the olive oil. Um, it depends on the, the extra virgin olive oils. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to cook with them. You're only supposed to be eaten. Yeah. You're not supposed to cook with them. 
There's other olive oils that you can use, just the regular olive oils you can use for cooking. Um, it wouldn't hurt them. Oh, there's a lot of better oils for cooking than olive oil. Olive oil is really, really for tasting, to taste nice. Um, and so that's what we're doing tonight with this one. I'm going to tear this lettuce up. I'm just going to, I'm going to, so the, all of my oil and salad dressing stuff is just sitting at the bottom of this bowl. Eh. She took all my spoons, Jared. More salt, Mom. I didn't put any salt in this, that's why. The seasoning salt didn't have any salt in it. The seasoning salt didn't have any salt in it. Uh-huh. Did you add salt to that? I did, just now. I mean, no. that doesn't get, ever get any salt. I didn't put any salt in it. Okay. You can put salt in it if you want to. But you can control your salt. Yeah. This is more like a Mrs. Dash. Yeah. Right. right? So you don't even have to use salt if you don't want to. You can just use all the herbs and spices instead. So I'm just going to tear this lettuce into this bowl. It's been washed, it's been draining for a while. I've been threatening to buy a salad spinner for the store. Because I like them. And I don't like wet lettuce making my dressing icky. <laughs> Well, the holidays are over. What's everyone doing? Anything? Coming to class? That's nice. Going to work out? That's nice. Dieting. Oh, is he going to wear them? What do you mean you're making pillowcases for your grand? Oh, I thought you got like cut out little arms and stuff. And I'm joking. Make little onesies. Oh, I thought. I thought it was a baby. Oh. 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 No, he doesn't need onesies. <laughs> we had our daughter move back from England. She was there for three years. Her they were deployed in the Air Force, and she's moved back over the pond to Murfreesboro. So she is right down the road, and uh, so she came to visit um, the weekend before Christmas, and it was awesome. I hadn't seen her in four years. So we were so happy. To Didn't do anything but hang out in jammies all day long, drink wine, and watch stupid TV. They, we were all together. I thought you, you were doing a plea dip because of the warm weather. Oh, no, yes. that okay. That's still working. I'm still doing that. Because it's, it's now it's just now getting cold. Yeah. So um, I'm going to move this to the side for a few minutes uh, before I toss it. Because I'm going to get in and toss it. All of those are done. Is. I'm going to make this um, uh, this butter for the corn. Maybe it'll get done in time.
I'm just going to melt the butter. I think I'll put the chili powder in there too right now. How much chili powder goes in this butter, Joanne, do you know? One teaspoon. That's taco. Thank you.